Hi friends! Welcome to another episode of Whiteboard Friday. My name is Grace Frolic, and I'm an SEO consultant at Brain Labs. Today I will show you how to use ChatGPT to build out a customer journey for your online search. The aim of creating this journey is to get into the mindset of your audience because we want to know how our customers think and behave. This will help us meet them at key search moments. Traditionally, to build a user journey, you need customer insights like surveys, focus groups, and interviews. But sometimes you don't have access to this data. But if you don't have access to this data, you can use this process to help you build out the customer journey. The output will be a spreadsheet with a full user journey. Now let's start. Users search online for answers to solve their problems. What we want to know are users' motivations for searching and pain points while they're searching. And we want to know what these are at every stage and moment of the user journey. In our journey, the motivations here will map to journey stages and the pain points will map to milestones. Milestones are the key search moments during a user's search, sort of like touch points, and they are nested under the journey stage. Next, we'll use ChatGPT to get our journey stages. We're going to need a prompt. We want to include two key things in the prompt to generate a list of motivations. First, we want to know type of business and we want to know key products and services. So for example, let's say you own a home cleaning business. In your prompt, include home cleaning services, then ask ChatGPT, what are the key motivations when users search for home cleaning? ChatGPT will respond with a list of motivations. So this list includes customized services, time constraints, special occasions, etc. Copy and paste your list into a spreadsheet under stages. Next, we'll ask about pain points for this specific user journey stage. Think of it as a follow-up question. Let's choose customized services. We'll ask ChatGPT, I want to learn more about this specific motivation. What are the most common pain points for users? And again, it will respond with a list of pain points. In this list includes pet-friendly services, health concerns, preference for eco-friendly services, and etc. Again, copy and paste this list of pain points into your spreadsheet under milestones. Now we have one journey stage, which is customized services, and a list of milestones that sit under that stage. Next, you'll go back and repeat this whole process for all of your motivations and pain points. Once you've done that, you'll have a full user journey in a spreadsheet with stages and milestones. If you want to learn more about mapping this customer journey to your website, check out my blog post where I show you step-by-step -step how to do that. The link is below. You can use this as a first step to guide your content strategy and to meet your customers where they are in their journey. Thank you.